Okay, preparing to go out for an early morning blast on a Sunday. I've got to creep the car down the driveway without making any noise and waking up all of my neighbours. Okay, here we go. Hybrid kit drum. Gravity power. Ew. Okay. I'm gonna have to start the car. Oh, I'm so sorry, neighbours. Ew. First stop of the day, as usual. Oh, look at that shadow. This is my first drive out um, since October last year. Been to a little car meet this morning, and now we're out, uh, giving, giving the car a bit of stick, putting some miles on it, getting it all warmed through again. Probably done about 50 miles today, just to get it, get it up to temperature, get it running, and make sure everything's okay, we got no problems. So far, so good. Touch wood. Okay, drum. Corner. What happens next? If you can't hear me over the engine, I like to try and keep it running when it's this cold so I don't lose any temperature. My car has the non-adjustable platform suspension, so I can't set the ride height or adjust the ride height, but I have had a full geo setup on the car. Um, so with the adjustability we have got through some of the other measurements. Um, so the car's actually optimized now as it is um, on the setting, sorry, on the hardware that it's got. Um, so yeah, it's uh, drives very well. Again, I seem to have ended up next to a busy road. I really don't learn here. Okay, the other thing to bear in mind is this car is not as uncomfortable as you might think. I have the leather um, sports seats, as they're called. They're quite plump, as am I. So it's a match made in heaven. So, as I may have said previously, mine is a six-speed gearbox. Uh, fantastic short ratios, closely stacked, uh, means you're always in the power band. This car will rev to about 7,500 RPM, um, which is more than sufficient um, for 580 kilos. Um, but I tend to take it to about 7,200 maximum because the guru that is Dave Andrews, um, those in the K Trim and K Series world will know, uh, recommends that you don't go any further on the standard rods and pistons. That's a nice uh, bike. Sorry, sometimes being next to a main road has its perks. Fabulous. Good work, chaps. Good work. So just to give you a sense of quite how low the car is, I'm slowly Bending down and down and down. There you go. Not a lot of ground clearance. First thing you hit is the stump, which is not ideal. So just to give you a sense of how quickly this thing revs up and what it sounds like, I will give you a 10% throttle. Okay, I'll give you a 20% throttle. And I'll give you a 50. And then because I'm going to be quite obnoxious, I'm going to give you four beans. So, that is on the standard flywheel. Something I would like to do in the future, uh, when I save a few pennies, is to put a lightweight flywheel on there and have that uh, engine uh, rev up even more quickly. Oh, in case any of you were wondering, it does have a heater, as I showed in a previous video, controlled via the switch um, and, a, and a, pull, um, a pull toggle underneath the dash. Uh, however, I haven't put the heater matrix back in the car yet. That video will come soon. Um, so I am currently freezing. And if you'd like to see some 
true Caterham engineer in wisdom. These two toggles plus this switch control the lights. So this uh, switch here goes from off to dip to main, uh, sorry, off to side light to dip. This here switches from dip and main beam between dip. I haven't had my weed this morning. Switches between dip and main beam. And this here is a flasher. And then this nifty little button is the horn. Yeah, ergonomic genius.